What's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how hackers find vulnerable IPs and potentially how it could be your IP and how to defend against it. Alright guys, so this is a Python program that I made a couple months ago, um, all the way back in January. And it started off as being purely theoretical and then eventually I found out that it worked and here I am now. So basically what this script does is that it makes about between anywhere from 300 to 500 threads. And each thread is scanning an IP that's created from the program and it sees if a port is open. So if that port comes back as being open, the IP is printed out on the output and you then know that that IP is active with the open port. So we're going to go ahead and try to find active IPs that has port 80 open. All right, so once I tap HTTP, since it's a web browser and it's on layer seven, it gives you the option to automatically have them active IPs that are found to automatically open up in your web browser. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And as you can see, once I tap enter, it popped up four active web browsers with port 80 open. So if I'm gonna tap continue the site, Japanese website, we're gonna go ahead and try to load this one up while it's loading. Um, this one is a Spanish server. This is a Windows server. You see a lot of these, just say, close those out. I see that, but, but boom, we got a Japanese website with the open port 80 connection on the web browser. So if you wanted to, you can go ahead and try to log in doing what admin password, as you can see, it don't work, but if you really wanted to come back here, tap enter again, and then the program is going to automatically open it up in our web browser. I got to tap enter one more time. There we go. And then we got four more active connections right here. Continue to site. And as you can see, we got an active IP camera on port 80. All right. So all of these IPs have port 80 open, which allows me to have my program scan that IP and then check if that port is open. If it's found open, it then reports back to me, opens it up on the web browser. And here we is. Now, if you really wanted to, you could take it a step further and <clears throat> do certain things to it to where it automatically lets you in. But we're not going to be doing that in this video, though. So we're going to go ahead and get on to the next one. Now, let's say you want to find an open telnet connection and automatically sign into it. This program would allow you to do that, too. So when we come over here, we see telnet port 23. We'll tap 2, then enter. And now, as you can see, it has 5,000 threads scanning 5,000 IPs every second. And out of them 5,000 IPs, you're gonna find on average about five IPs for every 5,000 scanned, something like that. And it automatically finds that IP and it's gonna try and brute force it, right? But this video is made for ethical and educational reasons only. So as you can see here, it finds an active IP and it shows the city, region, and country of the IP, the IP address, and the port that it was found on open. And it automatically goes through a word list of a simple common dictionary to try to log into it but i'm not using this for any unethical reasons purely for educational reasons only all right so now i'm going to be showing you guys another one that i made this is the last option we're going to go ahead and skip ssh because ssh is lame i'm gonna show you guys something even better you guys ever wanted to have a text file that has thousands of active ips on it and you could just type it in the hydra and automatically be able to brute force them what if i told you that you could do that well now you can so we're going to create an active IP list. We're going to go ahead and tap option four and whatever port you want, you're just going to go ahead and type it in here. All right. So I went ahead and loaded up Visual Studio Code where the program is at. We have an open text file. This program is going to print all the active IPs of whatever port you type in and put it within this text file. Let's say you want to find active IPs that has port 21 open, which is FTP. We tap enter. And as you can see here, delete all the IPs overwrite and it's all being printed right here on the text file now these are all active IP connections and if you guys don't believe me we're gonna load up one of my other programs all right so here is my program this is a port scanner I made a couple months ago too. check out the video down below if you guys didn't see this one so boom we come over here we grab an active IP we're gonna grab this one random one type it in here enter and boom, it has nine open ports. This is the location of that IP. It works. 
All right, so I loaded up my Kali Linux virtual machine. If you guys really wanted to, you could run the program, make it active IP list, take that text file, open it up right here. As you can see, you got all your active IPs right here. And if you really wanted to, let's say you wanted to, I don't know, try and log into them. You could, um, you know, use something that starts with a H and ends with an A. And you can use that tool, whatever it is, to essentially try and log into them active IPs, do a certain type of attack, and try and log into them. All right, guys. Now, if you're wondering how would I defend against something like this, basically what you need to do is if you have, first of all, go on your router, make sure you do not have port 21, 22, 23, port 80, or port 3389 open. You don't want none of those ports open to the public. And if you don't know what those is, those are RDP, SSH, Telnet, and HTTP. Having those ports open, that's basically like letting me walk in your front door, but like you don't want to have none of those ports open. Close all of them. Change the default credentials to your router too, like. People be having admin password as their default credentials and they still have it set as their credentials to log in and never change it, which is crazy because then you have somebody like me that could try to come in and fuck some shit up. You know what I'm saying? So change default credentials. Don't leave them the same. You want to make their life as difficult as possible, man. Close any and all unused ports. Hey, but that's all I got for you guys, though. If you guys like the program want to check it out yourself for ethical reasons only. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down below to my GitHub, and then it's going to lead you guys to the program. Just to let you guys know, I probably will not be updating this program that much because I'm currently working on a second version, which is going to be way better. I made this program when I was like two months in the programming. Now I'm like three, so I have an extra month's worth of experience to make this shit like 10 times better. So I'm kind of going to be abandoning this program just because of the fact that it's kind of hard to update it. So just to let you guys know that. And finally, join the Discord. I'm going to put a link down in the description below. We all know how to program in there, or most of us do, and we've been making scripts, cool scripts. Not like this, but cool scripts all the time. So if you guys want to be a part of that community, go ahead and join down below. And my last video, it was at like 50 members, and now it's at 200. So it's really blowing up. So hey, don't miss out, though. And if you guys like the script, like I said, give the video a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'm going to see y'all boys later. Peace!